<sighs> What's up, y'all? It's your boy RJ Pound. We're back with another video. I'm gonna try to upload daily videos every day. So turn on that bell, hit the subscribe button, and yeah, tune into my channel. And today I'm gonna explain why I started a YouTube channel in 2019. Now, you may be asking, hey RJ, why did you start a YouTube now instead of back then? Why, 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 why? Well, I'm gonna explain all of that to you right in this video, but before, you tune in please like comment and subscribe and check out the hoodies i'm gonna put a link down in the description box so you could buy one right now they're so beautiful like literally beautiful soul hoodies buy them right now okay why i started a youtube channel in 2019 now first off i'm gonna give you a background about how I came to YouTube in the first place. Now, first off, I used to watch YouTube videos all the time. Me and my sister, my cousins, we would always share YouTube videos all the time and look at people vlogs, YouTube, look at funny videos. I would even look at basketball videos like almost every day and look at people react to certain things. Like YouTube was and is a very important aspect in my life and so i wanted to see you know what was the hype about you know making a youtube video and so i started one this year but back then i always contemplated uh or procrastinated and make one because i had fear i had fear that people would judge me on how, what would they say if i made one why would they think I would make one in the first place? You know, the things like that. And so it took me to a point where it was like, okay, I'm not gonna care what anybody has to say about what I do and how they look at me. I'm just gonna make a YouTube channel. I'm just gonna create and express my creative abilities to the fullest, okay? Now, back then, I always used YouTube as an entertainment source for what I was watching. I even watched YouTube a little bit more than TV at some certain point in my life. But again, YouTube, YouTube was very entertaining and I thought, hmm, maybe I could really do this one day, you know, make entertaining videos to a certain audience, you know? The number one reason why I started a YouTube in 2019 was to express myself and my creative abilities. Now, YouTube is a platform where you can make videos and it, every kind of video you can imagine from reaction videos to vlogging about your everyday life to sharing tips on how to do certain things. And so I wanted to express myself. I wanted to show people how my personality works and I wanted to reach a certain audi audience and express my creative abilities and making people laugh, smile, or get motivated, you know? And so, yeah, I think when you're making a YouTube video yourself or thinking of making a YouTube channel, you should first start off and why am I making a YouTube channel in the first place? Now, why I wanted to make one is to reach this younger generation and to make others laugh, to produce funny videos. You know, when people are having a sad or blue day, I wanted to make people have, look at my video and be like, oh, he make me laugh. So that brightened, my, oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all, I was rudely interrupted by Somebody I won't name, <clears throat> my dad. Yeah. So let's continue on. The second reason why I started a YouTube channel in 2019 is to connect with other people. Connections and relationships really run the world besides money. And so for me to connect with other people is pretty amazing. You know, I really wanted to make people laugh, wanted to make people smile, and I wanted people to know that they could do 
whatever they want to do if they put their mind to it and they work hard in order to achieve that. And so for me to make a YouTube channel and to make videos like this, I'm trying to connect to my audience. I'm trying to connect to you all. I'm trying to connect, make relationships with you, with y'all. Cause y'all look <laughs> delicious. Y'all look <laughs> delicious. So the third reason why I made a YouTube channel is to find myself. Some people, it takes 20 years to find their purpose and to call them. For some people, it may take their whole life and it may take the last minute to realize what they're here on earth to do. And so for me to make this YouTube channel is to find myself. I'm on a journey in order to find my calling. And I think my calling is to do things like this to express and to put out my creative abilities in order to share to the world. For me to do such things as this is to show people that they could be on a platform such as YouTube or any other platform that they may be on. My ultimate goal of this YouTube channel is to impact many lives and inspire this generation of kids because I ultimately want to give kids the voice and the outlet that many parents or many adults probably don't listen to or choose to ignore. And so I'm trying to be the voice of the youth and to get every kid that feels like they don't have a voice a voice and to show people that there is hope because there is hope in the world, guys, and I just want y'all to realize that. Fourth reason why I made a YouTube channel in 2019 is to follow my dreams, well, to pursue my dreams and execute them. What I mean by that is I have a lot of things that I want to do in life, and I want to pursue them at a rapid pace so that by the time I hit maybe 30, it's not a specific age I wanna hit it, but maybe 30 or 35 or something that I'd be set for life that I could help other people out. See, my dream is to inspire the youth through an outlet like this, through movies, through TV, through the internet, writing, through maybe even acting one day, through directing, through a bevy of things I want to do. And for me to do those things, I thought the best way was to, you know, start a YouTube, to talk to other people, to show people that if you say things out loud, they will come into fruition. It's one thing to just dream and be like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm dreaming of doing this. But if you never do them, then they're just dreams they're not gonna become goals. They're not gonna be your passion in life. And so for me to be doing YouTube, this this is the first step. My trajectory and other people's trajectories that are doing things like this, they're gonna be out of the roof. You feel me? They're gonna be, their trajectory is gonna be sky high because they're doing things like this at such an early age. One of the main reasons why I was watching YouTube because I was watching people my age and even younger that started to be on a platform like this, just had a camera or a phone right there just talking to people like you and me. I just wanted to connect with other people and to relate to other people's stories, you know? And I think that's one of the many beauties of the internet these days, you know? Um, we get to connect with others and journey through other people's lives so that we could know what we want to do in our lives. You know, it's one thing and one wanting to, you know, have another person's life. But for me, I'm just trying to do me so that I could show you all that you could do something similar, maybe even the same thing. So yeah, follow your genes, kids. The final reason why I started a YouTube channel in 2019 is to do the uncomfortable. Now the uncomfortable part of doing YouTube is getting in front of a camera and putting it out 
on the internet for thousands and even millions of people to see you. No matter how goofy, how ugly I may look to other people, being uncomfortable is the step to being successful. In order to be successful, you have to be uncomfortable. Making a YouTube channel, I was uncomfortable at first because I didn't know how people would perceive me to be. Being uncomfortable is uncomfortable. Be uncomfortable. If, if you don't be uncomfortable, then you're just gonna be settled. You know, if you want to be a drawer, you know, take a drawing class and submit your pieces to a drawing contest. If you wanna talk about sports, make a sports podcast. Just put it out there because you never know where you could go if you just put things out there. And so for me to do this, this is the first step. And I hope you all start to do these things because this is just the beginning for me. And I hope that this is just the beginning for you in order to go higher. And I just hope that y'all take what I'm saying into consideration. Y'all don't have to listen to me at all. You know, do your own thing, you know, follow your dreams, do the uncomfortable in order to be successful. Thank y'all for watching this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and to buy a hoodie, a link is gonna be in the description box down low. Um, Yeah, look for me to make new videos every day. So be on the lookout, click that bell on the side of the subscribe box, and yeah, this is RJ, and we're out.